Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sean. This is the game room. We are continuing with Cyberpunk Red because this is, this is a fantastic game. We did get a couple of games in, made some mistakes. We're learning the game, uh, but I want to play with some painted models. So, if you're familiar with this channel and how I uh, how I approach the painting concept, we go for straightforward tabletop quality, three foot distance. If it looks good from three feet, it looks great to me. So, we go for speed. We're going to deal with probably speed paints, contrast paints, and a few others mixed in here and there, uh, army painter, and a few other things. I'll let you know what I'm using. Uh, but without further ado, let's get started with the Maelstrom. All right, so there's not a whole lot of color pictures or pictures of painted models in the rule book or even on the box. Uh, and I did see some people were talking about there's no instructions for building the models. Yeah, that can be a little daunting. So, uh, but if you look at the ends of the bottom of the box, uh, the end pieces, they actually have all the models put together so you can easily look at them and figure out which head, which body parts go with them. Just takes a little bit of effort. Okay, these guys have all been primed gray sear. This is what they look like before they're primed. And so you can see the slight difference. Uh, but I'm working on the Maelstrom first. There's only six. Uh, in the box. This is about all we're going to have to go off of if you want to follow these colors. Otherwise, you can do whatever colors you want. That's the great thing about painting is you just let your uh, imagination go wild. All right, I'm going to start with some uh, Army Painter Barbarian Flesh for the skin tones. And we'll just get to it. Now he's got a lot of armor, but it's really just want to get it down into those areas where the skin, where you can see the skin coming through. Now the Maelstrom have, you know, they've augmented their body parts, their skin with these armor plates, things like that. So we'll come back and we'll paint those a different color, but we do want to get the underlying skin we're going to come back with the silver so if you get the, you know your your barbarian flesh on it you're just we're going to paint the silver over and it's a much it's a darker thicker paint we won't have any problem covering it up All right, for the pants, we're going to use the contrast military green. Alright, next up we're going to use a Speed Paint 2.0 Broadsword Silver for the armor. Now, these 
these paints you need to shake them up really good and then use them quickly because they will separate the metal pieces will separate back down and you'll be mixing it again so but here I don't want to get it down into those crevices where I painted my uh, skin so just be very careful Went ahead and switched over to a smaller brush just because I'm running into some issues that here's what I mean. This is mixed up and this it's only been a couple seconds. I mean it hasn't been long. So you're gonna have to keep mixing that up. Okay, I'm going to come back and finish the metal in a minute. Um, <clears throat> switch over to uh, snake bite leather. But before I do that, since this is a contrast paint, it's not going to go over the other contrast paint great. So, uh, gray sear. I'm going to use this to just touch up a few areas that I want to do snake bite leather. And what I mean by that is. Like the belt here. Just gonna, just gonna touch up, just to help the brown. I don't really care about down in the crease because that's gonna be dark anyway. This is totally unnecessary. You just paint your black or your snake bite leather right over it, and you'll probably be just happy. I'm just showing you if you want to. This will help make that brown a little bit brighter. That will... There, that'll brighten up that brown just a touch. And since we'll use the same brown on these straps here, or you could use black. You could easily use black on these would look just as good <clears throat> and in fact I might still do that
All right, back to the Broadsword Silver Metallic Speed Paint 2. I did have to shake it up and put another, uh, just a single drop on the palette this time because it is going to separate. And it separates pretty fast, so. Back to a larger brush, same metal for his feet. Now, if you don't use the speed paint, which I'm not sold on the metallic speed paint yet, um, you can easily get this with using uh, a normal, like, uh, Full gun metal and then washing it with a dark wash gives virtually the same effect. Speed paint will just let you do it all in one shot. Don't have to come back and wash it. But he's looking pretty good. Alright, a few more things. I think I'm going to go with black. Hold on. Okay, Grim Black from the Speed Paint 1.0, I guess. Uh, I do not have the entire, I only have a few from the 2.0 line. I don't have them all. So I would assume there's a black in the 2.0. But this will work just fine. Uh, and I'm going to do the straps with the black. I'm also going to use the black on his gloves. I'm going to use just a little bit of the Broadsword silver metallic and a little bit of this black just to see how this comes out and just to do over the the clips where the straps are held together just to I don't know, see how it works Alright, well, black is done. We need to do the straps up here, which I think we'll go ahead and do those in black as well, just to keep them all in uniform. But as that's a speed paint, let me hit it with the gray sear first. Now back to our black. Uh, 
All right. One more step, I believe. Hang on. Okay, all of the flesh areas we're going to cover with the uh, flesh wash. I think they've renamed this to something else, but it's or soft tone, whatever wash uh, you want to use. Uh, all I want to do is darken down this, the flesh, and so I'm just going to put that right in there. And anything about this is if it does get on some of your armor, you can wipe it off, okay, relatively easily. Or you can let it sit there and it kind of looks like a little rust. Like. Alright, that looks pretty cool. In there almost done almost done okay next I'm gonna use just wanted to try the uh, the golden armor metallic 2.0 I get to it yeah and this just to get this hopefully I don't screw this whole thing up purely just to break that up and then we have speed paint familiar pink again this is a, a 1.0 and don't really think that's going to show up so hold on okay so to do his eyes I need to touch him up with just a well it's not really his eyes it's the these stalks here, but um, I'm gonna hit them with a little grace here. I'm gonna put the grace here. I'm gonna go right into the hole there, and just hit a little bit around the edge, like so. And now I want to. I don't want to fill it with paint. I just want to color. There it is. I want to make sure that I don't have so much in there that it's filling the hole. I will still want the holes to be there. I just want them that way so when I do the pink, the pink will show. So I need to let that dry for just a moment. Okay, now back to the Speed Paint Familiar Pink. And this is just to, just to dot the eyes, literally. <laughs> Like so. Kind of cool. Not bad. Okay. Uh, Alright, hold on. <clears throat> okay, if you were wondering how I had him stuck to the base, I didn't. Um, they all come with uh, these little stands on the bottom. I ended up cutting one off, but on the base itself you've got these little holes in the bottom which are really good guides all I did was put the miniature on there to say hey where does he where do I think he's gonna look cool yeah that hole drilled it out with a small drill cleaned it up make the hole big enough for his, one of those to fit into and then I just used it to hold them in place so if you haven't painted them you're not sure how you want to paint them yet but you want to start playing with them that's an easy way to get them on there that's what I've done with That's what I've done with all the rest of them. They're just stuck on there. So that way it's easy. It's something to hold on to while you paint. And you can take him off to actually do the base. Now, I am going to go ahead and do the base. So let's see how that comes out. We are 30 minutes in. So he's done. He's done painting. We're 30 minutes in. Minus intro. 
not bad for getting a model completely painted to uh, you know tabletop quality I picked this stuff up yesterday uh, terrains asphalt uh, acrylic diorama and it is uh, it's a texture paint uh, that should look like asphalt and since this is cyberpunk city and the streets are asphalt I was like what the heck maybe this will work um, I already took the top off and got uh, it's cleaned up now got the paint everywhere but we're gonna give this a really 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 good shake uh, you could also just stir it up I've never used this before so this would be a total experiment um, but before I use that knowing that it's gonna be black I tend to like to just go ahead and paint the base, the color that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to use a matte black, not a whole lot, just to give the base a quick coating. Um, not the edges, we'll do the edges after everything is done. I have had where I've put texture paints on and something's happened to it and then you see the gray through it. Uh, usually I like the one that that dries and cracks I've done that in the past I was like ah oh, crap I can see the base through it so now I just put the base color down this isn't a cracking uh, texture paint but just to be on the safe side Okay. Okay, so for our asphalt texture, again, I have not used this. I do not know what to expect. Not even 100% sure how to use this. With the other ones, it's so thick, I would always put it on with a, uh, with a tool, a you know, putty knife or something. Uh, this tool. But this is much, much thinner. And I don't think that that's actually necessary. Um, you see how thin this is. Uh, but if it gives that asphalt grain, then. Oh, yeah, I see. I don't know if you can see that or not. It is gritty. It's grittier than the base top itself. Well, that's kind of cool. I like it. That's going to take a little bit to dry. Um, so. Goes on with the brush. Doesn't take a whole lot. I have enough here to do a ton. So let me cap that back up. I usually do all my bases at one time, but hey, since we're here, um, thought I would. I'm going to let that dry. Then, I think we're going to paint a yellow line or so down the middle with the Battletech Hazard Yellow. Uh, I think any yellow would do, but just to uh, make it look like a street. So, anyway, I will be back in just a moment. All right, so to get, lay down the yellow, I'm gonna do a little bit of the, just give the yellow a foundation. And I don't want a lot, I just want, you know, could just do a single line or just a, you know, the dash. that dry real quick all right and back to our hazard yellow just to complete the base or almost complete the base 
and that's just going to go right on top of that dry and see how it looks all right and not bad it just adds a little bit of you know he's standing on the street I do like that uh, I do like that texture it does look like he's standing on the street um, so just complete the edge of the base and we'll be done for that I'm just using uh, the same matte black I was using earlier and I will need something to set him on, so we'll put that down there. And here we go. And for that, all I'm doing is just hitting the side. Do this whatever color you want. You do it in a different color per, you know, um, per game, just so you know you can tell them apart on the battlefield if you need to. So, and there he is, guys. Complete. Uh, even with the base, other than, you know, we had to sit here for a few minutes and let paint dry. Uh, 38 minutes, start to finish, including my little intro at the beginning. So, again, it doesn't take a ton of time to get a good result. Um, I'll put some pictures of him up here now so that you can see what he looks like finished. Uh, but not bad um, in fact let me go back to it I mean again here here he is against the card I mean that's pretty good I like it I think it looks good and from three foot distance it's gonna look fantabulous whatever um, anyway um, please like subscribe I'm Sean this is the game room Drop a comment down below. Did you find this helpful? Uh, I will hopefully get um, some more of these painted. And uh, I have videos for those too following this one so that you can kind of see if you want to follow along with me or just to sit back and relax and, and just listen to me blabber in the background with some really awesome music that's in the background. Um, anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, drop a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye now.